All right, I'm going to go ahead and make the floors now, um, and we're going to work on the first floor. So we've kind of got the walls going here, um, and then we're going to go in and do the floor. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the floor, and I'm going to isolate that element. Um, and we're going to make a concrete floor and then do a split face and put a wood floor on it. If we look at the FOVA building, the first floor is wood on the interior except for right here at the entryway. Um, and uh, on the porches, uh, typically this would be a drop and you would come up and this would be flush and then it would drop. But we're just going to leave it all flat and do a split face to put this wood in. I would caution you to use split face and paint, which is what we're going to use sparingly. Um, if you use it all the time, it's just bad practice and it undermines the uh, building information model, but it's it's okay to use in certain situations um, if you know what you're doing. All right, so I'm going to pick this guy. I'm going to go to Edit Type, and I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm just going to call it Generic 12-inch Concrete. And then I'm going to go to Edit the Structure and the Floor, and I'm just going to go get a concrete material and put it on there. And there is like a gray cast in place concrete that we're going to use. If we look at the appearance, it kind of looks like that, which doesn't look too bad. So I'm just going to click OK and click OK and click OK. And it looks awful, right? Like it's just tiling and it just looks terrible. And um, so we're going to fix that and make it a little bit more palatable or a lot more palatable, I hope. So I'm going to open up my materials by going to the Manage and Materials. And that is going to be selected as the last selection. And if I go to Appearance, first thing I'm going to do is image fade it probably down to like 50%. And then I'm going to come to this color, and I'm going to take it all the green and yellow out of it and make it just gray. And then I'll click OK, and I'll hit Apply. And it's grayer now. That's better. But the last thing I really need to do is come in here to um, the Texture Editor and make it bigger because it's just way too big or too small. It's like repeating every less than two feet. So I'm just going to go in here and make this sample size like 30 feet and let it scale it up and click done and hit apply. Right. So now you've got something that looks like that, which is a little better. I mean, it could be even faded more, right? Like I could fade that down to like in the forties and then, um, And then apply and just keep fading it out. You could make it maybe a little bigger, but we're going to put wood on most of this. So we're only going to see a little bit on the front and the back. So I think that would be fine. You can see that repetition here, but when you're in the building, you probably wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm going to click OK there. And now we're going to split that surface and put wood on it. So I'm going to go to my plan one, zoom in on it. And I just want to select the CAD drawing that has the walls on it and the floor. So I'm going to left, um, I'm going to do a crossing box over the two right there, and I'm going to isolate those elements. And then I'm going to split the concrete floor face by going to modify, and there's a little television set that's split face, and I'm going to click on split face, and I'm going to select the floor face, and then I'm going to go to pick line, and I'm going to pick the interior lines of the walls. Use the trim command to trim them out. Stop the trim command with the modify and then pull these guys over to the edge. And then on this side I need to finish the split and that concrete comes in somewhere around here so I'm just going to draw a line from here to here and not worry about it too much. Once I've done that I can hit the big green check Right, and now that surface, go back to my 3D view, has been split out and I can apply a different material to that. So now I need the material to apply. So I'm going to go to my Manage and Materials, and I'm just going to make a new material. I'm going to come down here and go Create New Material, and I'm going to name that material Wood Floor. NMS for my name. And then I'm going to go to the surface pattern here. 
and I'm going to click on the surface pattern and I want a model pattern and I want let's do a four inch parallel and I'm going to uh, duplicate that and rotate it 90 degrees because I think the last time I put it on it needed to be rotated 90 degrees and I'll just name it four inch parallel rotated and I'll click OK I'll click OK and I'll click OK just for now and I'll go to inline and oh I haven't applied it yet so let's go back to the material and finish that material um, I'll go to appearance and in the appearance I want to put a wood on it so the first thing I'm going to do I've got a, a material here that I made the same way I made the concrete so a background with a flip on it and then a bump map that I saved out for it so I'm just going to go get those I'm going to go get the bump map and that would be in my wood folder so wood and that would be the floor one bump I'll open that up and then I'll go to my diffuse map and select the floor one light and open that up and go to the texture editor here and make that larger than one foot by one foot so I'm just going to go in and break the scale and I'll make that how about 20 feet by 8 feet or maybe yeah let's just do eight feet we'll see how it works we can always change it later and I'm gonna click link texture transforms and click done and I'm gonna double check and see if the floor bump updated and it didn't because I had not selected the texture transform before I changed it so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, update that here so that was 20 feet by eight feet and I'll click done and click OK and now I'm going to paint it so I'm going to use that material that I just made to paint it so I'll come up here um, and in my modify is a paint and I'm going to click on paint and it's going to open up my materials and I'll just type in wood floor MS right and I'll pick that guy and hover over here and it will paint it right and then I'll close that and unfortunately it's rotated so I need to go in and and rotate it the other way so I'll go back to my manage and materials and I'll go into my floor appearance and I'll go into my image and I'm just going to rotate that guy so I'm going to click 90 and done and then I'll check since we the bump map was not rotating it did rotate so I'm just going to click done there and click OK and now you can see that that guy has rotated now we can do some of the same things we did before I mean that one's this is not a bad wood texture um, it's much better than the one that's in there if you've ever tried it but if I go back to materials, I still really feel like most of the time you can fade this image, fade this stuff out, you know. And if I hit apply, right, maybe this doesn't need to be that dark. I'll pull it up a little bit, click OK, hit apply. And you can really just sort of adjust, you know, based on, you know, what you want. And I'm just a kind of a big fan of everything being a little faded out, right? So now I've got that floor in there. So if I reset my temporary height, isolate oops, right here. Right, you can see right there is the floor on the interior there. And if we render it, it'll come out like that. All right, so that was the floor.